Okay, so I now have reason to believe that this is one of the worst Roblox scamming incidents that has ever taken place on the platform. Like, this is a next level of crazy. And anybody active within the trading community should not be using this platform anymore, as they are actively rigging statistics so they can gain a profit. But real quick, before we get into today's video, make sure you go down below, smash that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and we only need 6,000 subscribers left. So if you anyone like Roblox, Blocks commentary, you will 100% not regret subscribing to my channel. Anyways, let's just get straight into today's video. Okay, so I'm not really a trader myself, and I did a video yesterday, like my average news video, going over all the different things, talking about Roblox stuff. I didn't fully understand the situation, and genuinely, this might be one of the biggest scams that have ever taken place on Roblox. But like I said, we talked about this situation yesterday, but I, I decided to make a fully dedicated video talking about this situation because now I'm more informed on the subject and I feel like I can more accurately talk about this. So a massive platform used by a ton of traders called Rolling Mods were caught doing insider trading. Now, if you don't know what that is, insider trading is trading of the public company's stock based on non-public information about the company. In various countries, some kinds of trading based on insider information is illegal. So pretty much what that is, is when you go ahead and trade stock, or in this case, it would be limited with information obtained that isn't publicly available yet. So what I originally got wrong in my first video is that most traders they actually use the value that Rolly Mons gives items they don't actually use wrap or any value that Roblox provides for themselves as Rolly Mons just has a better overall value and understanding of what each item is actually worth as mind you Rolly Mons is made by a community of traders so like they will know the best of what each item is actually worth unlike Roblox which pretty much only goes off of statistics now if you didn't watch my video yesterday a Rolly Mon administrator was caught buying a ton of hats before they were assigned a value and then once it was raised in value because he knew this insider information that internally they were talking about raising the items value after it got raised in value he sold it all and made a 200,000 robux profit and not only that this has happened to multiple hats that this user was caught doing this with now if I was roblox here I would terminate this account like hands down it is trading based on insider information and it is literally a Affecting the Roblox market like that. I mean, and it's also just scamming people. That is legitimately just a scam because the public didn't know that information. They didn't know it was going to go up in value. And then when it did go up in value, he went ahead and dumped his entire inventory. But the crazy part is Rollymon saying that they don't want to do anything about this. No, all of the Rollymon higher up staff are currently aware of this and have chosen to not take action. As due to the owner of the site, Rollymon not wanting to do any work, he leaves all of the operations up to people such as the admin that was going ahead and pumping and dumping roblox hats who allow for blatant corruption like this to take place and since they're all in on it nine times out of ten no action would be taken as a result I think this is definitely should be something of note for anybody in the trading community that Rolly Mons is actually rigging their statistics so they can make a profit, like their head administrators are doing that. And that the owners of Rolly Mons are not wanting to take any action about this situation at all, like this is wild. So I mean, any statistics now coming out of Rolly Mons should be really looked with like, are they trying to do something behind the scenes? Because that's what's happened here. They were buying items before assigning a true accurate value to stuff, which is just quite literally a scam. Like they are scamming community members of roblox doing stuff like this and roblox should definitely take action against this i mean like they should just go ahead and ban this account for doing this like they are publicly trading based on insider information but honestly this is just a sad situation because rolling mons is a trusted site and it's sad to see that they'll go ahead and throw out their entire credibility just to make a few hundred thousand robux like th that is just sad I'm definitely wanting to know what your guys' thoughts are on this situation down below. But before we end this video, I quickly want to give a shout out to someone who follows me over on Twitter. Shout out to You're Not Gamer. Make sure to follow me on Twitter if you want a shout out. Anyways, gamers, I think this is going to be where we wrap up today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.